Okay, converting between quadratic forms, we got standard form into vertex form. Standard form ax squared plus bx plus c going into a times x minus h squared plus k form. Okay, well if you want to be in vertex form, you have to know what the vertex is. That's really the only step to these problems. You figure out what the vertex is, and then you put it in vertex form. Okay. So our only real steps here are you're going to have to identify what a is. Because okay, remember, A is in all of these problems. So identify A, and A shouldn't change between forms. And then find the vertex. Finding the vertex from standard form. There's a formula for it. It starts by finding the axis of symmetry. All right, so in this problem, we're going to identify A, find the vertex, and then put it in vertex form. I got f of x equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 30. That's in standard form. Uh, you might notice there is a GCF here. You don't have to take that out to the greatest common factor. We're not factoring. You know, it's fine. The form that it's in, it's currently in standard form. And that's fine. All right, so we're going to start by identifying our values. Our a value is always the number in front of x squared, which is 2. The b value is always the number in front of x which is negative 4. And the c value, which is also your y-intercept, is the constant, the part without the variable, negative 30. Okay. We don't need c in this problem, but again, it's nice to identify the y-intercept. What we do no need is we need a and b. We need a and b because the first part of finding the vertex is finding the axis of symmetry. Okay. Remember, if you're in standard form and you want to find the axis of symmetry, there's a formula. The axis of symmetry is always equal to the opposite of b over 2 times a. Okay. Well, in our case, b is 4, so negative 4, so the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4, divided by 2 times a, 2 times 2. And that is 4 over 4, which is 1. Okay. So that 1 is our axis of symmetry. Now, what that also means is 1 is also the x value of the vertex. And the x value of the vertex in vertex form is h. So we just found h. So that's the x value of the vertex. How do we find the y value of the vertex? If you want to find the y value of the vertex, you have to plug in the x value. So we're going to find f of 1 f of 1 is going to be found by going through the original problem. And wherever you see x, we're going to plug in 1. So instead, it's 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 minus 30. Which is 2 minus 4 minus 30 is negative 32. That's the y value of our vertex. So our vertex is 1 comma negative 32. Now the y value of the vertex is also your k value in vertex form. Okay. So we know h and we know k and we also know a. Because we stated that right at the beginning. So you know all the pieces of vertex form. So now all you have to do is plug it into the formula. Okay. Remember, the formula for vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And again, we know a, we know h, and now we know k. So you just plug them in. a is 2, so put the 2 out front. x minus h, h is 1, so x minus 1 squared plus k, k is negative 32, so plus negative 32, or just minus 32. And that is vertex form. Now again, when you're in vertex form, you should be able to find the vertex immediately. We already kind of stated this, the vertex here is going to be 1, negative 32. And the y-intercept was from standard form. The y-intercept is negative 30.
All right, let's do one more problem. Let's say we have, uh, let's do f of x equals negative one half x squared minus four x plus six. Okay. So that is standard form. Again, I always start by identifying a, b, and c. a is the number in front of x squared, b is the number in front of x, c is the number in front of, uh, c is the number without a variable. So a is negative one half, b is negative four, and c is six. Okay. C being your y-intercept. Start by finding the axis of symmetry. Opposite of B over 2A. Opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. Over 2 times negative 1 half. Okay. So that's 4 over 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1. So 4 over negative 1 is negative 4. Okay. That's your axis of symmetry. It's also the x value of your vertex. It's also H in vertex form. Okay. If we want to find the Y value of the vertex, we have to plug in that H value. We're going to plug in negative 4 for X into the original problem. So just go through the original problem. Wherever you see an X, replace it with negative 4. And then we'll simplify. And that's going to be the Y value of our vertex which is also the k value in vertex form. Okay. So that's uh, 16, negative 8, plus 16, plus 6, which is 14, positive 14. Okay. That's the y value of the vertex. But more importantly for us right now is it's our k value. Okay. So we know h, we know k, and we also know a we identified it right at the beginning, which means we know vertex form. Okay, So we're just going to plug it into the formula. Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. So Y or F of X, you use them interchangeably. Negative one half, the A goes out front. X minus the H value. Well, the H value is negative four. So it would be X minus negative four. But instead of minus and negative, just write that as plus. Okay, so x plus 4 squared. And then plus k. k is 14 plus 14. That is vertex form. Okay. Uh, again, just for fun, what's the vertex? Well, it's h comma k. Negative 4, 14. And the y-intercept was 6, a c-value. Okay. All right, so that is standard form into vertex form. Okay. Identify the a-value, find the vertex. From standard form, we find the vertex by finding the axis of symmetry first. That's going to give you the h-value. And then you plug that h-value into the original problem, and that's going to give you the k-value, and that gives you everything you need.